Have you ever thought about the tough world of truck drivers and the dangers they face? The movie Thieves Highway from 1949 takes you deep into that reality. It follows Nick Garkos, who wants revenge on a bad guy who hurt his dad. The movie shows the hard side of trucking, with funny, shocking, and sad parts you won't want to miss. As you watch, think about which character you connect with the most. Is there a scene that sticks with you? Do you have any special memories or stories about Thieves Highway? Share them with us. We'd love to hear from you. Stay tuned for more interesting insights, and remember, life's full of surprises. Dyson on a roll, beginning with his compelling brute force, followed by the richly atmospheric naked city Jules Dyson became a notable figure in Hollywood's film noir genre. Thieves Highway adds ethnic tensions to Dyson's repertoire of lost souls always living on the edge of danger. Richard Kant delivers a standout performance as the tough trucker, adept at handling both threats and challenges. Kant's background lends authenticity to his portrayal, reminiscent of Burt Lancaster's streetwise persona. In Cry of the City, he faces physical confrontations. Here, the dangers of his profession are equally palpable. Kant's portrayal was so compelling that he reprised the role on television years later. Dason continued his exploration of the genre with a claustrophobic thriller, Night and the City, a film worth revisiting. Thieves Highway offers a gripping narrative that resonates with themes of human nature and the pursuit of profit. The film explores the challenges faced by immigrants starting at the bottom, reflecting timeless struggles in labor and management. Through the lens of trucking, it highlights the pressures of shipping and the confrontations along the route. Watching this film lends a newfound appreciation for the toil behind the products we consume, echoing contemporary struggles depicted in shows like the deadliest catch noir classics like this provide a window to the past, capturing the essence of 1949 and the societal dynamics of the time. The film's portrayal of gender roles, alongside glimpses of the era's landscapes and lifestyles, adds depth to its narrative. Thieves Highway is a compelling exploration of human nature and the perils of greed, offering timeless insights into the human condition. In the late 1940s, there was a film called Thieves Highway. Its original title, Thieves Market, caused some trouble with a group called the Wholesale Fruit and Produce Dealers Association. So they changed it. Directed by Jules Dyson, the movie shows a significant moment in the San Francisco produce market. In a later interview, Dyson talked about his favorite scene. It's the one where they show what happens after Ed's accident. He really liked how it turned out. This scene shows his attention to detail and skill in storytelling. Thieves Highway is part of the Criterion Collection with Spine 273. It's considered a classic movie. Set in the busy San Francisco produce market, the film tells a story of struggles and suspense. It's all about the challenges the characters face in a gritty city environment. In Thieves Highway, a 1949 film directed by Jules Dassin, Jack Oakey, despite being completely deaf, didn't cause any delays showing his professionalism during filming. This practical approach by Oakey reflects his dedication to the movie. Critics like Tom Anderson consider Thieves Highway as an example of film gris, a type of film noir with a left-wing storyline. This categorization shows the movie's alignment with a specific ideological viewpoint, adding to its classification within the broader noir genre. Richard Kant, Lee J. Cobb, and Kaja Orzezowski, key actors in the movie, had previously worked together in Call Northside 777. Their shared presence in both films adds an interesting connection between the two productions. The movie, with its gritty narrative and ensemble cast, intertwines themes of crime and morality, capturing the essence of film noir. Its exploration of the darker aspects of human nature fits well within the context of post-war cinema. In summary, Thieves Highway stands as a notable entry in film history, not only for its engaging story, but also for the collaborative efforts of its cast, including Jack Oakey, who dealt with unique challenges during filming. Its classification as film gris further emphasizes its distinct place within the film noir genre. Jules Dyson, known for his directing, made his debut as an actor in the movie. It has a perfect 100% rating on Rotten Tomatoes based on seven critic reviews. According to a New York Times article dated April 1, 1948, Dana Andrews and Victor Mature were early choices for the role later played by Richard Kant. The film explores the challenges faced by a truck driver in the tough world of the produce market full of lies and danger. It follows his journey for justice against corrupt people who have harmed him. Dyson's direction shows the harsh reality of the story, 
pulling viewers into the tough situations the main character faces. The acting, especially Khan's performance, connects with the audience, showing the struggles and determination of the characters. Through its captivating story and well-made scenes, the film offers a gripping look at morality and payback in the post-war era. In his introduction to the film on TCM's Noir Alley, Eddie Muller stated that this was the picture that got him hooked on film noir as a young teen while playing hooky from school and seeing it on television. Ed's old, beat up, falling apart truck is a Mac AB made from 1914 to 1920. It was the company's first successful mass produced truck. Richard Kant had a real job as a truck driver before being discovered by Elia Kazan and John Garfield on the New York stage in 1935. The film follows a trucker named Nick who seeks revenge on a crooked produced dealer who crippled his father in a rigged truck accident. The story delves into the gritty underworld of the trucking industry, showcasing the dangers and moral dilemmas faced by those involved. As Nick navigates through the treacherous terrain of deceit and betrayal, he confronts the harsh realities of life on the road. The film's stark black and white cinematography enhances the noir atmosphere, highlighting the shadows and moral ambiguity of the character's actions. Directed by Jules Dason, Thieves Highway is a gripping tale of justice and redemption set against the backdrop of the trucking industry's underbelly. In Thieves Highway, Nick buys a Studebaker S6, a tough truck left over from World War II. These trucks were known for being tough and reliable, and they were even used by the Soviet Union during the war. They could run on really low-quality fuel, which was useful back then. Actors Lee J. Cobb and Morris Karnofsky were both part of a famous theater group. They worked together on a play called Golden Boy. Later, Cobb played a role in the movie version, while Karnofsky played a different part. The writer, A.I. Bezerides, wanted Shelley Winters for a character named Rita. But the director, Jules Dassin, chose Valentina Cortes instead because they were dating. So, in Thieves Highway, the movie tells the story of Nick and his challenges in the trucking world after World War II. The Studebaker S6, Cobb and Karnofsky's theater background, and Dassin's casting choices all add depth to the story, showing the time period and the characters' relationships. In 1949, the movie Thieves Highway shocked audiences with its portrayal of the dark side of the trucking industry. In one tragic scene, a character played by actress Valentina Cortes was supposed to cry tears of blood. However, due to technical difficulties, real blood was used instead, resulting in a shocking and sad moment on screen. Directed by Jules Dason, the film delves deep into the world of truck drivers and the dangers they face. It follows Nick Garkos, who returns from the war to find his father crippled by a crooked produce dealer. Seeking revenge, he plunges into the treacherous world of trucking, where he encounters betrayal, violence, and heartbreak. The movie's gritty realism was achieved through filming in San Francisco's produced district, lending authenticity to its portrayal of the harsh realities of the trucking industry. From the busy marketplaces to the dangerous highways, the movie immerses viewers in a world fraught with danger and deceit. Despite its tragic elements, Thieves Highway also explores themes of resilience and redemption. As Nick navigates the perilous terrain of the trucking world, he discovers the true cost of vengeance and the importance of integrity. In conclusion, Thieves Highway remains a poignant and unforgettable portrayal of the struggles faced by those in the trucking industry. Its shocking moments and tragic twists continue to stay with audiences, making it a timeless classic in cinema history.